This is day two of the Novena to St. Philip Neri, entitled Philip and the Holy Spirit. Philip felt constantly drawn to the solitude of the catacombs, the burial places of the early Christians, and in the catacombs of St. Sebastian, something happened that can rightly be called Philip's Pentecost. It was a kind of invasion of the divine into his life. What then happened? Philip was in a small room of the catacombs and was praying with special devotion to the Holy Spirit. And as he was thus praying, one day in 1544, he suddenly felt himself divinely filled with the power of the Spirit with such force that his heart began to palpitate within his body and to be inflamed with such love that his nature, being unaccustomed to such a palpitation of the heart, he indicated that he was completely unable to bear it. There were, from the time of St. Philip's Pentecost, external effects that he could not hide, no matter how painful it was for him, and that they became known. First among them was a trembling and a shaking of his whole body, which would also cause the chair or bench on which he was kneeling to shake. Witnesses testified that the objects near him were affected by the powerful throbbing of his heart. When he celebrated Mass, there was fear that he would spill the wine or knock the chalice over, and therefore he had to steady his elbows by leaning them on the altar. His contemporaries testified to another strange phenomenon, an inner heat that warmed his entire body. That heat was such that even in winter he went about with his cassock unbuttoned. The doctors who treated Philip in his old age puzzled over the strange phenomenon. This is an excerpt from Father Paul Turk's The Oratorian's um, book on Philip Neri, The Fire of Joy. O holy Saint Philip Neri, patron saint of joy, you who trusted scriptures promise that the Lord is always at hand and that we need not have anxiety about anything. In your compassion, heal our worries and sorrows and lift the burdens from our hearts. We come to you as one whose heart swells with abundant love for God and all creation. Hear us, we pray, especially in this need. Keep us safe through your loving intercession and may the joy of the Holy Spirit which filled your heart, St. Philip, transform our lives and bring us peace. Amen. Join me as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. the Lord is with me. Blessed art thou, O woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thanks for praying this novena with us.